Pro Shock as Hawaii I fans dealt some terrible news. P30 Pro has only been on the market a couple months but owners of the Hawaii I handset have already been dealt some terrible news. P30 Pro was one of many Hawaii I devices to be affected by the Trump administration's decision to place the Chinese firm on a trade blacklist earlier this month. Abiding by the move, Google suspended Hawaii I's Android license immediately. However, the U.S. Commerce Department later gave the Chinese tech behemoth an extension on its ability to do business with American companies, running until August 19. Although Hawaii I has insisted it will continue to provide software updates to its current smartphones, it is possible they may not be upgraded to Android Q when it releases later this year. Meanwhile, future Hawaii I devices have two options when it comes to software, use the Android Open Source Project, AOSP, or a new operating system entirely. Using the AOSP means new Hawaii I devices would not be allowed apps for Google services such as the Play Store, Gmail, and Google Maps. While Google's services could still be accessed using a web browser in these circumstances, such an experience would be severely worse than that offered by competing hardware that does come with such programs. Amidst the uncertainty surrounding the future of Hawaii I's devices both present and future, a number of UK retailers have drastically slashed the cost in which they are willing to offer for its devices, such as the P30 Pro. For instance, Music Magpie is currently offering a mere £100 for a P30 Pro in good condition. To put that into context, the Hawaii I handset remains on the market for £899. When questioned about the rapid decline of trade in values by Express.co.uk, the outlet stated it had seen a substantial increase in consumers ditching their Hawaii iPhones. The outlet said, with recent news that Hawaii I's use of Android is being restricted by Google, there has been a substantial 25% increase in the number of Hawaii I trade ins at Music Magpie this morning compared with an average Monday morning at the tech site. This shows that Hawaii I users are preparing for a potential device change in the event of further restrictions being put in place against the Chinese phone manufacturer. Looking at Hawaii I's depreciation rate, in general, Android devices depreciate faster than Apple handsets, but in the space of a year, the P20 has depreciated by a huge 81%, whilst the P30 which was only released last month, has depreciated by 46% already. Additionally, recycling comparison site Compare and Recycle also told this publication the P30 Pro had depreciated by 83% over the past few weeks. The outlet went on, at the moment, a limited selection of merchants are willing to pay a maximum of £150 for a two-month-old working Hawaii I P30 Pro which is currently retailing at £899. Similarly, O2 is currently only offering owners of a P30 Pro with 128GB of storage £100. EE is giving even less with its trade insight saying it will pay up to £75 for a working P30 Pro with 128GB of onboard memory. The rapid decline of trade in prices for the handset will not only come as a shock to owners, but it will also prevent them from receiving a substantial amount of money if they choose to sell their device during the current set of circumstances.